going to the city. I'm going to the market. I'm going to the city to see my senorita. Ta -ra 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 -ra. Ooh, shaky, shaky, shaky. Ah, join me in shaking, shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. Wow, what a wonderful day it is. It's a teacher announcer. I'm very grateful today. Thank you very much. And welcome once again to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. So last time we talked about numbers and you are counting forward in twos. And I taught you a song and you say, I'm counting to the backward. I'm counting to the forward, to the front, to the front, to the front, to the front, to the front. You're walking and seeing where you're going. But I'm going to the, you know, in the reverse gear, drive your vehicle backwards. Are you able to drive very fast as the way you're driving when you're going forward? Let's try it. And we are here. But now let's forward. You're busy checking because you must be very sure about where you're heading. You can fall in a ditch with the vehicle. Huh? You see? So it is not as fast as it was when you're going forward. We are counting backwards. We are counting going backwards. We are counting going backwards in twos. Are we together? So when we talked about counting going forward in twos, it was very easy. Now, we did it from numbers. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we saw the way that rabbit was jumping. You know, it's supposed to jump at most. How many steps? It skips one step, says the lo one loudly and quiet. The next one. That is what we did last. And we are doing it here. We see the way this rabbit will be jumping here as it goes. Now, look at the numbers here. Aha, uh -huh. these numbers was as clear as this, where we are supposed to use to jump in twos. So what am I supposed to do here? We said we did the zero loudly, and when we did the zero loudly, we silenced the number one. So we are saying zero, one, two, then we come, three. We go again, four. We come, five. Uh-huh, we go again, six. Six. We go silent, seven. We go again, eight. Silent, nine. And we went to ten. That is how we counted the numbers in twos. So all the ticks means we are counting we are, those are the correct numbers for counting in twos. And all the wrongs are the numbers that you're supposed to silence on when you're counting in twos. So then I come here and I told you that you now come here and make your grid and say for the counting in twos, the numbers must have a zero, they must have a two, they must have a four, they must have a, a six, and they must have an eight and a ten. Now we want to count backwards. We are now moving our arrow backwards. We are now moving our arrow backwards. We are moving to the backwards. We are moving to the backwards. We now want to move this arrow backwards and see. We are not going forward. So you must show your arrow that we, today we are not going forward. We are going backward. But in the same, same position. We are not going to change the position. So, if my starting number is 10, the question says, starting at 10, count in twos, move forward five steps, counting in twos. And the question is, starting at 10, I'm saying, move backward. Now, let me see, I'm at 10. I had counted because I started from here and I came and I was 0, 2, 4, 6, eight and i'm now at ten now i want to go in a reverse way in the backward manner so i will count the same way i counted the ticks and then so i say ten nine i come back to eight i keep quiet again i say seven 
I come back to 6. I keep quiet again. I say 5. Then loudly 4. I keep quiet again. Silently I say 3. Then last 2. I keep quiet again. And then I say 1. Then loudly 0. So I have now seen how my numbers will appear when I'm counting backwards. Now, when they say you count backwards, it doesn't mean now you change in the direction of writing. Most of you will now change. Normally when we are writing, we are writing from the left to the right. You now don't count right numbers from the right to the left because they have said you count backwards. Do we do like that? No, we don't do like that. So what I will come here and do is I will write my numbers, but in the backward manner, but my orientation does not change. When I say stand like this, where am I supposed to write from? From the left going to the right. So when it comes to counting backwards, stick to your left. Stick to your left. So when I come, I'll start writing from this side. So what I'll just change is I will invert the number. I will change the way the numbers will look like. So I'll start with 10. Then I come to 8. Then I come to 6. I come to 4. I come to 2. And I come to 0. Did I start writing from the other side? No. I only changed the numbers to start in the backward way. So if the teacher asks today, fill in the missing numbers. Fill in the missing numbers. And the teacher has given me numbers like... Now, if this is 10, I had forgotten. Now, if I'm supposed to write between 11 and 20, this one will be 20. What number will this one be? 18. Because I'm coming backward. This one will be 16. This one will be 14. This one will be 12. And this one will be 10. But now... We are writing between numbers 0 to 10. So I will say fill in the missing numbers and the question is 20 dash uh -huh, 16 dash 12 dash. And another one will be 8 dash 4 dash dash. Then someone says fill in the missing numbers. What am I supposed to do? I will come to my questions and ask. The teacher said between numbers twenty and between numbers ten and twenty, the number must have a zero. It is there. It must have an eight. So my number will have an eight, which means between ten and twenty, the number that has an eight is eighteen. Then I come again and ask. The teacher said after that we said the number must have a six which is there. So another number must have a 4. And the number between 10 and 20 that must have a 4 is 14. So from there, the number must have a 0 again. So the number will be 10. And they'll say that is good and very great. When I'm, between, I'm counting between numbers 10 and 0, the numbers must have an 8. It has an 8. It has a 6. It will have a 4, a 2, and a 0. So that is how we are now going to be counting numbers backward. And you know the what thing with that game can also be played backward in a way that the way, the same way the game was appearing on the floor, it does not change the numbers. Do you know that? It will not change the numbers. The numbers remain the same. So you are saying... The numbers remain the same, the way they were. But the th something that will only change here is how you are moving the dice, how you are moving the circular object. Because now when it comes to this one, it will be starting from number 10. So when you're starting from number 10, you must push your dice so that it skips number 9 and goes direct to number 8. When it reaches here, you will skip number 7 and move it directly to number 6. 
when it reaches here, skip number four and throw it directly to number four. You skip number three and push it directly from number four. You push it directly from num to number two. And then you move out of the game. Are we together? That is how we are going to count the numbers in twos in the backward manner. That is a very interesting lesson and I hope you've learned something. For those who have been struggling with this, I hope they have learned something. I wish you well and I hope you will continue joining in my lessons as we continue doing more and more of this. Thank you very much.